Testing, testing. Hello? This is Faithen. Can everybody hear me? Has it started yet? Hello? <sighs> Hello? Can, can, can you hear me? Uh, this is Anton from uh, Bellabog Heavy Industries. The sound and video both clear, but, uh, nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have to warn you that I'm on a construction site right now and, uh... <sighs> yeah. You might hear something like that. This is Lycom of Victoria Housekeeping speaking. You're coming in quite clearly. I'll keep this brief. We've called everyone together to discuss Hollow C-41. We... Yeah, this is Nicole from the Cunning Hairs. Uh-huh, I can hear you just fine. Uh, Nicole? Sounds like you're experiencing some lag on your end. Huh? Really? No way. I'm borrowing the Wi-Fi from the office building next door, and they just upgraded their connection. Getting back on track? We've heard rumors from multiple sources saying ether activity in Hollow C-41 is gradually increasing for some unknown reason. If this keeps up, it will no longer be classified as declining. It'll have to be considered an active subhollow again. Since you've all experienced getting lost to some degree while exploring C-41, we want to get everyone together to share intel. We also need to figure out whether or not the rumors are true. Let's start by sharing our recent exploration experiences. Ah, oh, me first! <clears throat> Bellabog Industries is chiefly concerned with researching the military machinery stored in the warehouse and... Uh, and, uh... <sighs> machine noise the scope of bellabog industries exploration interest partially falls within some warehousing areas but does not extend too far into c41 the defensive weapons they've encountered are all normal that's wolf hearing for you your praise is misplaced i couldn't hear over the noise either i just relied on lip reading lip reading that's even cooler uh hello Sorry, has the noise stopped? Uh, yeah. Our lupine friend misspoke at the end there. Uh, the defensive weapons we've encountered are not normal. And we're not sure if it's a maintenance issue or due to ether corruption. Forgive me. It seems my lip-reading ability was caught wanting. I have humiliated myself. Uh, it's okay. Just a little mistake. The mistake is, however, a keyword of opposite definition. Not now, Fairy. Allow me to report in second, then. Victoria Housekeeping has explored deeply within C-41, including some of Midsummer Incorporated's warehousing areas. We haven't come across any enemies worth mentioning, though we did see several rookie hollow raiders along the way. Their amateur antics attracted most of the automatic defensive weapons and ethereals who went chasing after them. Is that so? A few somewhat out-of-control defensive weapons, plus more hollow raiders? Sounds like nothing out of the ordinary, right? We're gonna share experiences? I'll go first. Nicole, you're lagging badly. The other two have already finished. Fairy, is there anything you can do? I've hacked into the network Nicole is borrowing. The password is next-door-can-pay-for-it, all capitals. Oh yeah, password valid. <laughs> Those cheap suckers next door have never seen the likes of me. Anyway, we Cutting Hairs have explored C-41 the most, and the deepest. We've been to pretty much all the storage areas. Other than the Midsummer Defense Systems, we didn't come across any other enemies. So, it's mostly defensive machines. They are prone to corruption, but only devices with anything remotely resembling AI on board have the potential to mutate into an ethereal. Defense machines are usually low-level autonomous systems, not AI. In theory, 
C-41 should be lacking a source to reactivate the ether. So why are there signs of the activity rising? Hey, wait! Those midsummer defensive weapons aren't what you think. It's actually a... These interruptions are suspiciously well-timed. Pardon me. If I might be allowed another attempt at lip-reading. This is... says the Midsummer defensive weapons have early AI chips installed, which were their standout feature upon first breaking into the market, and the reason Bellabog wants to study them. Mr. Anton then described a complicated metaphor about drilling, sweat, and mm, juvenile animals, which is supposed to describe expertise in construction machinery. Ah, uh, actually, my lupine bro, that was just me lecturing my workers with some uh, choice words. Sorry. Forgive me. It seems my lip reading is as abysmal as my construction industry knowledge. I have embarrassed myself once more. Ah, but all that stuff at the start was correct! Midsummer Incorporated's defensive weapons do use obsolete AI, as verified for us by our techie, the Grace. Hmm. It's a mystery, all right. But I think I've got it all figured out. The source of the ether activity must be Midsummer Incorporated's defense weapons. As rumors grew about the mysterious treasure, just think of all the rookies who must have come stumbling into Hollow C-41, clumsily wandering through the warehouse and triggering all those defensive weapons. As more and more AI defense weapons were activated, ether corruption soared, and it became a breeding ground for etheric matter. Whoa, that actually makes sense. Looks like Nicole's internet and her brain are fully online now. So, we just need to stop the defensive weapons from being activated. Perhaps we can... try to tackle the source of the problem? Hmm. Based on the way these defensive weapons are distributed, it looks like the bigger ones are in the deeper areas of the warehouse. Then we need to stop these rookie hollow raiders from traipsing all over the place. That won't be easy. I understand the situation. We at Victoria Housekeeping will join with you in searching for these defensive weapons. Then let's put all the related info up on Internaut, so anyone going exploring inside C-41 will know what they're getting into. Good. It's decided then. If you agree, Belle, then I hereby conclude this mission briefing. Great. Thanks for coming, everyone. Meeting over.